Published 2018 EDT, the 24th of August 2017 Updated 2018 EDT, the 24th of August 2017 Christian Lee Lifano told of the most unbelievable victory of his career as he was unveiled at Ulster, how he beat cancer and returned to rugby. The Australian international was diagnosed with leukemia in 2016, but just a year later is back in the game. The 29-year-old Playmix signed a five-month deal with the Northern Irish province ahead of the new season and on Thursday he spoke about his inspirational battle. Christian Lee Lifano has battled back from leukemia to make his rugby return a year later he said that, rugby gave him the focus to win his fight with the horrible illness, I am truly grateful for the opportunity that I get to play rugby again, he said, I said all along my health was number one, just to get back to be a father and a dad to my little boy, that was number one, and being able to play rugby again is an absolute bonus, I'm grateful every day that I get to step out again and do what I love doing while I can, and the opportunity that I have now. I am really really stoked, coming back, I lost 14 kilos 2 stone in 13 days and it was a tough period working back up, getting back to the weight, getting back to full strength and running fitness, there's been a lot of people to thank and credit for that. Being in a rugby structure definitely helped with the process. It was tough, having fought through and come out the other side, Lili Fano, who will return to the super rugby side the Brumbies after this stint, is able to reflect on an incredible turnaround. The playmaker says he used the thought of playing rugby again to see him through the illness. He look back now and I'm quite proud, he added. It's hard, you never want to pat yourself on the back or anything, but to think of the journey I've had, and being here today, it's something that I'm truly grateful for. All I could do was enjoy each day for what is was, and be positive whatever the day throws at you. You never know, tomorrow could finish you and you're six feet under. That's my approach, rugby was the end goal but I wanted to take each day and maximize each day, to think that you probably couldn't play rugby again through that time is definitely hard, and then to be able to come through the other side is truly rewarding, to know you can pull a jersey on again and do some gym work and throw the footy around with the guys is amazing, not only have Ulster signed a remarkable man, they have a brilliant player too. Lili Fano made his Wallaby debut against the Lions in 2013. Idi last long. He was knocked out by Jonathan Davies within 40 seconds. Since then though he has won 19 international caps as a fly half or center and is a good goal kicker. I am truly grateful for the opportunity that I get to play rugby again now close to 30 he will be tasked with helping the young fly halves in Belfast such as Brett Heron and Johnny McPhillips improve, as well as starring himself, I think, you talk about adding value, and if leadership qualities are something I can add, I'm more than happy to do it, he said, with a few young fly halves, I'm looking forward to working closely with them. I love seeing development and people reaching their potential, over the years I've developed a lot of experience and able to lead the side around from the fly half position from a playmaker point of view, I like to play attacking rugby, like to run the footy a little bit, and then try to be sort of solid in defense and not shy away from the breakdown work as well. Lili Fano has always eyed playing in Europe, and was convinced to switch over temporarily by Ulster's all-black Charles Piutau, who is joining Bristol next season in a deal worth £1 million per year and the Aussie reckons more Southern Hemisphere talent will come north. Now close to 30 he will be tasked with helping Brett Heron and Johnny McPhillips improve his PRO 14 debut is likely to come against one of the new South African teams, the Cheetahs he think more will, it's different, he said, I was playing in Australia and playing in the Southern Hemisphere to be able to represent your country, talking to Charles, he was saying that you're sort of in a bubble, playing week to week against the same teams, here, you play teams from all over Europe and I think that's what interests players more to come over, once you feel you're sort of out of international contention, it's something people will look at more. It's different, it's a culture change, what will not be a change for Lili Fano is his first opponents wearing the white of Ulster. His PR 14 debut is likely to come against one of the new South African teams, the Cheetahs, at the Kingspan Stadium. I looked at the draw and I was like, am I going to play Super Rugby again? He laughed. It is interesting to see them join the competition, the Kings and the Cheetahs, but it's going to be an exciting week next week to play against a team that's from the Southern Hemisphere in this competition, and exciting too for the Ulster faithful to see this unbreakable man back playing.